Hey, it's Anaya from Glam Graphics. Thanks for watching. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this flyer in under 15 minutes. First, I'm starting off on Canva with a design of 1080 by 1080 px. I have my blank page. Now I'm going to find a background. I want to find something that's pink and that will blend in really well. I had to do a little searching, but I end up choosing this fur background. Now, because of the way that the picture is, um, I'm not going to enlarge it to fit my whole page because I don't think it would look right. So I kind of just end up making it a part of the bottom and blending it in. I'm saving the photo now as a PNG and I'm gonna show you how I blend it in to get rid of that harsh line. So I'm going to PixArt. I'm gonna open that image back up, go to draw and then click the color wheel on the left. Select the color that I need from the image then select the brush everything else doesn't really matter you just need to turn your hardness down to around 30. now i'm going to take my brush and lightly blend that line you can barely see it but it definitely makes a huge difference now that i'm back in canva you can definitely see the difference with the original now i'm going to add my blended background to my page and delete the old one Now it's time for me to start adding the other elements. I'm gonna start with the search bar. Now I'm adding the text. and add in a letter space of 165. Now I'm just resizing and placing the text until it looks like it's in the right spot. Now I'm adding the clouds. Um, I did get this picture off Google. So let me show you really quick where I got it from and what I looked up. These are the other elements that I'll be using that I also found on Google. I reused a lot of the elements from my previous video to make this flyer. Um, if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. I show you how to make a banner for your website, but I added my cloud PNG and I'm just placing all my different clouds. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're not really going to see the full picture until you get everything on there and then you can see what needs to be moved and tweaked. Now I'm adding the box of lashes that's going to be in the left corner. I'm kind of using my pre-made flyer um, to double check the sizing. But like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm adding the single white lash boxes from my last video and I'm going to place them on the clouds. Adding the diamonds.
Now it's time to add the shopping cart. I got this actually off of Canva. Now it's starting to come together and I just have to add a couple more things. To do the little social media section, I'm going to elements and shapes and selecting a square and resizing it. I was having a little trouble on my iPad. This is way easier to do on a laptop. Now my square is resized into this nice little rectangle shape and I'm going to put it behind the cloud, copy and paste it two more times. So I have three and kind of line it up, make sure everything is in line and in the right place. And now it's time for me to add the icons and the text. You can use whatever icons you choose, but I'm using Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm going to copy the text from my search bar, go to spacing, and put it back to zero space, and then fill in these rectangles. Now it's time to add the iPhone. I already had these iPhones saved from the last video. So if you aren't sure how to get them like this, um, check out my last video. But you can definitely go on Google and type in iPhone PNG and find one that works for you. You can see this is in the exact same iPhone that I used in the pre-made flyer, but it's pretty close and it won't look that much different. So I'm gonna use this. Canva does have a phone available, but in my opinion, it looks good, but it's not very realistic and detailed like I would like. So I choose to use a different one. So I unfortunately have to shape the picture so it doesn't end up going on the outsides of the phone and being visible but if you do use the canva one you can easily just drag and drop but i'm okay with taking this extra time to make sure it looks perfect and realistic now i'm double checking i have the phones placed and the pictures placed nicely i don't see any overlapping now i'm going to go to position and move everything back. So the cloud and the lashes on this side ends up being over top of the phones. Now things are coming together so you can kind of see the placements and where things are off and what needs to be moved where. So I'm just doing that now. I'm adding this Instagram like notification that I also used in my last video.
we're almost done i just need to add this last little bit of text over here in the corner i'm changing the font to sailors adding a second line for the discount code and then i'm changing the font to britney Now it's time to add the your hashtag part. I'm going to use the sailor's font like before and do the splice effect with the thickness at 50, offset at 50, and the direction at negative 45. I realize now I misspelled hashtag, but it's okay. Um, I didn't realize while I was recording but now that I have the your hashtag, I'm gonna duplicate it again, take the effect off and make it black, and then take the transparency down to 50. I'm doing this to get the shadow effect because I can't use the splice effect and the shadow effect at the same time. But I'm just placing it to my liking until I get the type of shadow that I want. And now I'm double checking everything, making sure all the placements are right and everything looks good. So we're done. I have this pre-made template available on my Etsy shop along with a black version. If you haven't already, go check out my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out my last video if you haven't already.